Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Mercury Farms. We are harvesting some more canola. Yeah, because we don't have enough. One of the uh, sell points, the prices is going up on canola. So I want to get the canola harvested if I can in case the price gets up there. That way we can get a boatload of money. But I mean, this nice field of canola is ready for harvest. We have another field of canola ready for harvest and we got a barley field that's ready for harvest. I'm going to do two headlands for this field here, then set them off on a worker, and then we're going to take the case Puma and head up to the candy shop, also known as the vehicle shop. Uh, we're going to lease something today to help take care of the fence post, I hope. I used it on the Pacific Northwest, and I don't know if it'll work on fence posts or not, but it's like a wood chipper that will just chew up everything. So instead of me going up to the fence post and cutting them one by one and having to load them up into... A trailer yada yada uh, this wood chipper kind of thing will just should just chew up the whole fence post and then make it into wood chips and I just have a storage of 60,000 liters and then I can just dump it into a trailer and sell the wood chips um, I do know that yeah well someone said you can disable the fence post well I don't want to disable the fence post on the entire map I just want to do it in certain sections and uh, there is a lot of fence posts that I need to take down. So doing it with a chainsaw, picking up my hand, and going around with a stump grinder would take me a while. So, yeah, it's all these little small fields over here. I want to get rid of all those fence posts. That way I can get my equipment in there. Maybe, I, I don't really care right now if I take care of the fields. It's, you know, we bought the fields with the crop in it, so it's kind of like a bonus. But, I mean, if you could make the yield a little better, why wouldn't you? But I want to prep the area so we can make our parking area just a little bit better I mean come on this farm is doing well enough now we should make it look like a farm that's doing well uh, make some more upgrades in the future and who knows if there's a great demand for canola today that would be great but like I said I want to get a couple headlands done on this guy and I just realized my combine is just about full Something I've been doing a lot in Farming Simulator lately is not paying attention to the capacity of my combine and just start harvesting and going. All of a sudden it's like, wow, this thing's really picking up speed. Oh, that's because we're full and I'm damaging crops. I don't think I can... Yeah, I should be able to make it at the end of this row. Then we'll grab our truck. Uh, maybe I won't make it to the end of the row. Yeah, I should. All right, let's put the pipe out. Let's grab our truck, which is right here. Then, like I said, we'll get them set off on a worker here in just a bit and head up to the candy shop and grab our leased item. It's going to cost me like $2,500 to lease it. Um, I shouldn't have it for more than an hour, but if we do, we do. I thought about buying it outright, but it's like fifty-five grand. And I really don't want to dig into my bank account that much for it, for something I'm not going to use as often as one would think. So while we're waiting for it, I already looked at it. So it's leasing equipment. It's this guy right here. Brooks. Brooks All-in-One. Uh, I think it's by Big Daddy, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just paint it. Sure. Uh, so leasing it is actually 3,000. Is it because I changed the color? Hang on a second. I'm not going to pay that much to main color zero. If I change the color, it adds $2,600. 3,090. Hang on a second. All right, so it's just like $100 more, so sure. I was like, wait a minute, is that adding it to the lease cost? And I was trying to figure it over here. No, it's not. Uh, we want to lease that. Thank you. Uh, we'll be up there shortly to get it. Once I get some of the headlands done here so my workers don't have any problems because... Well, workers in Farming Simulator sometimes don't always do what you think they should be doing. 
So yeah, I do want to get these fields kind of harvested, the, at least the canola ones. And I don't know, I've been, I've been trying to say, well, I, I think I said way back when, I want to see a price around 900. Uh, okay, now I'm just saying, can we get up to 800? So I must have been thinking of the wrong crop for the wrong price. So if we get up to around $800 for canola, yeah, it's going to be going out the door. I mean, I got to sell it at some point. I mean, we got lucky a couple days ago with the eggs on the great demand. When I had tons of eggs. And now we're just sitting on canola for, it seems like, forever. I mean, I kind of want the money, but we don't really need the money. But there's a lot of things I would like to go ahead and do in this farm, obviously. I have yet to even check out Alien Jim's uh, new map, Washoe, I think it's Washoe, Nevada. I've seen a couple first looks on other people's YouTube channels. It looks like a great map, but I haven't checked out personally, and I guess Alien Jim is redoing a map for 17, is it Suffolk, Suffolk County? I think he might be redoing, don't quote me on this, and I think he's even... I, I don't know. I thought he said he was starting uh, remaking a new map. I don't know if that's him remaking Suffolk County or is he starting a new map from scratch? I don't know. But that guy just keeps putting out mods left and right it seems like. And his maps... I just love his maps because he gives... He gives the player options. I mean, you can do this, and if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It's like on this map, when he came out like, Hey, you like all the fence posts? Which, like, I do. But if you don't want the fence posts and hedges, you just got to go to a shop, hit a button, poof, and they're all gone. Or, like on this map, you can sell water. I mean, you can sell anything on this map. And some people say, Well, I don't, you know, we shouldn't be able to sell water. Well, if you don't want to sell water, then... Uh, you know, don't sell water. As simple as that. <laughs> I think it's great that modders think of, you know, giving you the options to do things if you want to or if you don't want to. Alright, sir, I think I gave you enough room to get that, but if not, I think you can manage. Alright, well, so hopefully this little modded thing that we get will do the fence post. I think it will. Let's zip on up there. And maybe at some point I'll do some landscaping as well, like redo this entrance to our farm just a little bit better. A single car? Really? Not a traffic jam? Did they uh, finally clear up a little bit? Wow, they're not all clumped together. For the most part. Uh, still are a little bit. It's kind of interesting how sometimes things spawn at, a, at the candy shop. Alright, let's go hook this guy up. Oh, that did not work. What the heck happened there? Alright. No, you saw nothing. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Down, down, down. Let's try this again. <laughs> I didn't think I got that close to it to flip it over, but you know. There we go. And hopefully this makes some quick work of the fence post. Like I said, I don't want to get rid of all the hedges and fence posts on the map. I, I like having them there but I don't have the time to sit there and cut down I don't know how many fence posts we're going to be taking care of but quite a few and I was I was getting ready to do it with the chainsaw I even had the stump grinder down there and I'm like wait a minute we got the perfect mod for this I think uh, cut right in front of a cement truck like one should and before we start I'm going to hop back up and onto the truck. 
And we're going to empty out our combine because he is almost full. And of course, he made it so he turned around, which. Ugh. I swear, like 80% of the time. Wait, no, wait. He's on the correct side. What am I thinking about? Oh, so it did work out for me. I think the heat is getting to me. It's really hot where I am this today, so hot and humid. It's uh, damaging my brain even more than it usually does. Um, I would like to leave the truck here, but sometimes I've had issues where I left a truck to unload, go somewhere, and I, and I come back like 12 minutes later, and the combine is still sitting there like, Hey, I'm still unloading. Uh, unloading what? So I'm going to stick here and make sure she unloads all the way. Yeah, so how much canola do I actually have? I, I'm forgetting the total. Uh, 217,000 liters. So you can see we got a price going. Uh, 692. This is 675 and climbing. All right. So he is moving on. We'll turn off that truck there. And come on down here. Pipe out. We'll unfold this machine here. Like the wood wood fence line here, I want to keep up. Go ahead and lower that. Did I not? I thought I unfolded it already. Nope, did not. All right, there we go. And I like how uh, how the machine has already got like it's been used like forever. There we go. So see, it got rid of the fence post. I was like, why can't I go forward? Oh, because uh, the barbed wire fence peanut. There you go. Alright, so what I need to do is, I may have to cut a couple of these down with the chainsaw because I don't want to get rid of certain fence posts because they don't look kind of weird. So the reason why I'm coming up this way because I was trying to figure out which way the barbed wire fence disappeared from. So we're going to head down the other way. And this will just make it this job just a little bit quicker. If I get the triggers working here. There we go. Just have to find the right spots. There, now with the barbed wire fence gone from this side, I should be able to go on down the line. And like I said, we got a few of these fence lines to take out. So I am going to go ahead and work on this for a little bit. I'll bring it back in a while for a progress update. Maybe. And <laughs> we'll see how we're getting along here. I will say, even with this little uh, handy-dandy modded machine that we have going here, it's taken me a while to get where I am. And I still have more hedges to go. Uh, but obviously, this is definitely faster than me using a chainsaw, than picking them up, putting them in a trailer, and then uh, bringing the stump grinder around and getting them that way. So <laughs> I'm more than happy doing it this way. Uh, most of the fields... The hedges and fences are just about down anyway, so we're just about there. Uh, but I do have to go take care of the harvester. That is requiring some attention. Um, did I get this stuff as well? Okay, that fence post can stay there. Let me go ahead and back out of here. So now I can actually bring the weeder uh, sprayer in here. Herbicide sprayer. Let me go ahead and fold that up for now. 
So you can even see the amount of wood chips I got, but keep let's keep in mind, probably three quarters of that is I did cut down one of these, I think it's a maple tree. One of these kind of trees, one of these curvy ones. I'm like, I'm not cutting it up with a chainsaw and doing that forever. Uh, my harvester said he's done, and I got a feeling he's lying to me. He is. Uh, yeah, he got confused by the tree, I would assume. Let's go ahead and turn this guy back on. And of course, before... Well, I didn't check to see if this field needs anything. I don't... Let's see, we just looked at the map. I don't think it was showing that it needed to be plowed or lined or anything. So we'll probably do the same thing by spraying it with some digestate in here. And then reseeding it at some point. Today is pretty much uh, harvest some fields. I got some fields that are have been ready for harvest for a while. But mainly today what I wanted to do, and we've just about done it, is get rid of all the hedges and fences in those small fields there. So we can expand the parking lot area. Uh, my main goal really is the silo. I want to get a drive through silo. Trying to back into that silo is... It's not bad, but I didn't leave... You know, I, left, I could have left myself just a little bit more room where that hedge is, trying to get a tractor and a long trailer in there. So that's where we stand with that. But we gotta wait for those crops to turn so I can harvest them. And I probably should get in there before they turn and weed it and then uh, fertilize it. All those fields, because I think if I weed it and give them another stage of fertilization, we're talking maybe like 50% better yield at this point. So, yeah, why wouldn't we do that? If we can, that is. Oh, I'm almost full. Should be able to make it to the end of the row. Then I'll turn her around and we'll get the truck. Yes, we're going to have like a quarter million liters of canola to sell at some point. And I'm starting to think, yeah, if I get up to $750 for for canola, I think we'll just go ahead and sell it. <laughs> I mean, we're, that's sitting on a lot of cash. Probably waiting for a price that may never come. Oh, yeah, we already got 31,000 liters in here as it is. And I got two more canola fields to go after. They're small ones, but there's still two canola fields. More to go. Uh, this field here is canola and this one of those. Uh, it's this one. It's ready for harvest. Um, I want to get back to this stage here. So they both got weeds. Yeah, they're not, not in great condition, obviously. I don't think any of them have fertilizer in them, so. Uh, but it is what it is. Nope, I did have the truck off. Stay off save on that fuel all right so we're going to finish up harvesting this canola and then we're going to head on down to that field down there I just kind of scrolled over we'll harvest that up so I can work my way around that field just a little bit better Yeah, the thing, that little wood chipper, if you want to call it that, is definitely a great tool to have. Especially for those uh, maple or oak trees. I forgot which one it is, but those cur really curvy ones. Yeah, you just go up there and it just takes down the whole tree at once. Uh, it's... <laughs> I think we probably all struggled with the chainsaw trying to cut up those trees and get them loaded into a trailer and bring them to the cell point. Or throw them into a wood chipper as well. You got to come up in the small pieces. I don't know who decided to leave that tree there, but uh, that tree there, I don't mind <laughs> at all for some reason. I think this adds us a little bit of character to the field. 
Plus, when I say, hey, the tree field, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so there is that field taken care of. I mean, we're here. I mean, we're right next to the truck. Well, and load what little we have. And I'm not sure if I took care of enough of the hedges or not. I don't know if I can get down this roadway now with the header still on the combine like it is. But we're going to find out here in a second. Actually, I don't think I've taken care of that side of the field yet. But now I'm also trying to think with the header up. Can I go over the fence line? Um... Maybe. Oh, there is no... Wait, did I cut the fence line there? I must have. Uh, I missed a little bit of a hedge there. That's fine. So this yield is going to, like, really suck, I guess. But that's fine. A little epic extra canola never hurt anyone. But at least now with uh, all these fences and hedges down, we can start. I'm not going to merge the fields yet because I'm not quite sure I know how we're going to do the new parking area. So no sense of working the fields if I'm just going to put a placeable down over it. And there is a cultivator slash. Uh, Hero disc or whatever what is they called hero disc that I would like to purchase, but it does require 400 horsepower, which means that would be the T8 and the T8 only, or the Volvo truck, I guess. But it might be too big. But then again, when it comes time to the big fields, having a big cultivator is kind of what you need. I mean, I could use it on the smaller fields, but. Yeah, it's going to be like a quick job, but I think I'd rather get the big one. That way, when it comes time to do the big field and whatever, uh, on the bigger fields, I should say, it's not going to take me forever to do it. Like I said, it does require 400 horsepower. Actually, we're getting a better yield off this field than I thought. So that field right over there is ready for harvest as well. That is barley sitting over there. But now I'm just waiting for these other three fields to turn, which they are in the last growth stage, but I probably should get in there and we'll weed it out and try to get a stage of fertilization in before it turns ready for harvest so we get a better yield. I do have another field of canola right there across the way. So once we get done with this harvest, we'll have to take the header off. You know, the way the traffic is, I can probably leave the header on and go in the, right in the road and I'm not going far around the corner with it. We'll head on up and do a headland on that field, set them off on a worker. And I can come back over here and finish up some of my work that I'm trying to do. So next week we can get to start starting on our new parking lot. Because we're getting more and more equipment and no place to put it all. It's getting kind of crowded where we currently are. But I'm thinking the field in front of us is where we're going to extend the parking lot area a little bit. I want to kind of leave the fields closer to the road. Only because it kind of will camouflage our parking area a little bit better from the main road. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to work because there's signs out here. Uh, I can probably sneak through, but now the traffic decides to show up. 
I don't see anyone coming from the other way. Ooh, I can sneak out. Just barely. Got no traffic coming from the other way, so this works out. Harvesting all this canola makes me feel like I'm on Farmer's Dynasty in the springtime and harvesting winter canola. Canola, canola, canola. That's why in the future, like I said, buying a different harvester, rather the cotton or the root crop harvester, uh, we're going to start mixing up our crops a little bit more. I mean, I guess I could do more cereal crop and just not, we'll just chop up the straw instead of collecting it. Also last night, I did work on the wrapping uh, baler that I've been using on the Pacific Northwest. I've been talking back and forth with one of my subscribers and uh, we were talking about a faster wrapper and I got it. I finally, uh, it took me about 20 minutes to figure out it was a little bit different than it was in 17 I think to mod it but uh, the wrapper that we had in the Pacific Northwest, if you've been watching that series, uh, I think the wrapper it takes like 15 seconds to wrap it. Wrap a bale and then, uh, well just to wrap it, not to pick it up and drop it. But a total of 15 seconds to wrap a bale and I re uh edited the DXML file so it's down to six seconds to wrap a bale so that should make progress on that a little bit better but I thought about once I did that I'm like hmm maybe I'll start doing some bales and wrapping on this map as well at some point maybe all right what I need to do is set this guy off at a worker I need to go grab the Volvo truck with our trailer on it Obviously. You have to know you're like 80% full. I am going to leave the fence line up on both sides of our entryway here. But we may just smooth out our entryway just a little bit and maybe put down something a little bit firmer. Because I think 90,000 liters on a dirt road after a while could cause issues, especially if it's muddy and rainy. Uh, yep, you didn't make it far, did you? I was kind of hoping I'd get to you before you filled up, but... Uh, better leave the truck on, because I'm going to have to move it here in a second. Yep, I destroyed a little bit of canola. We're fine. Uh, while it's unloading, how is that price doing on the canola? Oh wow, 789. Am I looking at the right? Yes, I am. 789 and still climbing. I mean, before I wasn't getting excited about this price. I thought this was getting up to 900 once in a while, but um, yeah, we're going to see. That's probably going to stop us. <laughs> it's not going to get to 800. Probably 798 is what it'll stop at, just to really really get me going but yeah I think we might be selling our canola today and by doing that that will give us plenty of cash to stock up to start you know putting down some proper stuff at, at the main farm like a nice wash center a uh, better repair building uh, some more sheds All right turn that guy I feel cruise for a bit Where's my case Puma? Because we are not quite done yet. Let's 
Okay, then unfold that again. Turn it on. Actually, now I can approach it from this side because there's no crop here. So these hedges here, you can't drive through the hedges, so you got to find the post. The lovely hidden post, but after doing it for quite a while, you get used to knowing the distance between them. The good news is once you get the main post down, the hedges kind of disappear, then you can kind of find the stump afterwards. And sometimes it takes out the whole post in one go, and other times it does not. Kind of interesting how that works. can't see where the edge of the hedge row is because that bush, but I see the other stump. So let's get rid of that one. Oh, so that was all there was. Okay. And can I be sneaky and just get this one post and not the other? No, I think I was getting both. All right, I got both. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. It'll work. That'll work. So that just leaves the hedge row up over here and all the trees in between. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Do I want to leave it there or not? I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of this, this row though. Give myself a little entryway here. And then uh, I think we're going to drop this off. And I think we'll do some more field work. I've had my fun doing this today. Well, actually, I'll take down this tree that's right here. And you can see exactly, if you didn't get a chance to see it in the Pacific Northwest, you'll see exactly. Come on. Alright, that's a magical stump, I guess. Alright, now it just magically disappeared. Alright, I see how you want to be. There are a couple of these out here that have done this to me where they don't want to disappear. And really, I got left with another stump. Ah, we'll come back to that. I'll do that off camera. And then other ones just disappear nicely. Why couldn't you be more like your friend? There we go. Sometimes you have to approach at a different angle and it'll take care of it. Alright, so this tree here. Find a sweet spot. And boom, gone. If I can find the right spot for all of these, maybe not. Oop. But we'll do this area up all nice next week. First step is uh, just getting yourself a pathway around here. Right, how about if I hit it at this angle? Oop. 
There it goes. Maybe. We'll find out in a second here. There we go. All gone. Alright, I can do the rest off camera later on. Let's quickly come over here. Uh, customize. And is it this way? Bingo. Thank you very much. And of course, every time you customize, I always got to reset course play and all that stuff. 80% uh, on the harvester. Isn't he almost done? Oh, he's full. Okay, I thought it was at 80%. It feels good, though, to get all those hedges and fences in the, that little corner there kind of taken care of that quickly. I've been waiting a long time to expand the parking lot. I mean, we've been talking about it for a while. That's a lot of green. There we go. 793 and climbing. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, you should be fine by yourself for a while. I need to hop back into my case. Nope into the Puma. Herbicide sprayer is next. Like I said, we'll make some quick work of, you know, getting these fields taken care of. And we may actually wait until next week before I sell this canola. Wait until next week's episode and then we can go like on a buying spree. And maybe expand this parking lot. Uh, I got plenty of herbicide, that's good. I uh, have no idea what's in, the, in these fields. Are there any crops I didn't want? Uh, barley, oats, and soybeans? Soybean, oat, barley. Uh, crops that we all want. And I did not get in the other side of the fence post. There we go. I don't have to get it all peanut, just enough. But if I don't, my OCD will drive me nuts that I see a little bit of a flower over there. Like I said, we're just going to get it good enough. But I do forget the percentages. I think weeds is, what, 20%? And fertilization is like 33%? I, I, I've been so long since I really looked at it and remembered them all, but it's something like that. But this field has been kind of bothering me for a while because you see on the edge here, there's like a crop that for some reason the worker, the AI field worker was not taken care of. And it's been driving me nuts that there's always like a crop there ready for harvest. I'm like, harvest that crop. Yeah, so once we uh, weed this and fertilize it, We'll wrap up the episode and sell the canola next week. But I will show you what cultivator I've been thinking about buying, but maybe I'll just have a look-see until next week. Yeah, give me a week to at least think about the purchases that we need to make here. But at least we're not like the beginning stages where a purchase is... You have to put a lot of thought into it. It's like, because it's going to be a while before we get money now. And yeah, this farm is bringing in the cash pretty well at this point. Obviously, because we got more fields. There we go. So, no more weeds. Let's go get our fertilizer sprayer. And instead of me backing in, I'm just going to park it like right here. Yeah, I know the farm's beginning a becoming a mess. I said that last episode is just everywhere. I 
All right, no sense in setting up GPS because, well, the fields aren't big enough and I'll have to re recalculate it every time, so... Just have to eyeball it and see how it goes. But at least we'll get a better profit off these fields and get some more money back from when we, what we paid for them. But really, it's just to help us get a, just a bigger parking lot is all I really needed. And who knows, I may not uh, use any of these fields to lay crop down in. I could just make it all like a placeable area and who knows what else. I think uh, I'll do these two fields, then we'll do that one over there quickly. kind of strange I should go back and look at the first couple episodes on this map and just to see how we started because it's been so long it's like I kind of forgot how we got to where we are in a way I know it sounds weird but we've been on this map now for a few months I love this map and it's gonna be kind of sad when it comes time to leave But the problem is, is there's some good maps coming out and always starting on a new map I always love starting out like episode one or even before I did YouTube but I mean you start on a new map and it's like start from scratch and it's like all right here we go again all right pretty soon we'll see how I did spreading some fertilizer down Probably not that well. Wait, did I do this? I don't know. Well, we'll do it again. And I probably got a little sliver down the middle that I didn't get a hold of, so we'll just go ahead and do this. Alright, so how do my fields look like now? Uh, no weeds. And pretty well fertilized. I missed a couple spots here and there, but I'm not going to complain about that. They're a lot better than what they were. Yeah, so I think what I'll have to do is take down this hedgerow right here. We'll take down those trees as well. I hate taking down trees, but we'll replant some trees down. I don't want no trees being around here. We need some trees for shade. But I think this is where we need to wrap it up. I think it's been a long episode already. I never run a timer when I record. I just record and try to figure out where the episode should end. And sometimes I don't feel like I recorded that long. And then I start editing the video. I'm like, oh, wow, this video is going to be like an hour long. Oh, no. Uh, but it is what it is. That's the way I look at it. Um, now let's go down here. We will just, as I wrap up the episode, we will... Empty out our combine, and we'll just take a quick sneak peek at the canola price once again. But I think we'll wait until next week before we sell all of our canola because I got some thinking to do. I mean, we can pretty much guess how much money we're going to get. Um, it's going to be probably like in the vicinity of 200 grand. So why that's emptying out canola price? Yeah, I told you it's going to stop short of 800, so 793. But it's like the best price I've seen. Um, I don't know if I hold out longer if the price will just every time it goes down and back up that it will You know, it'll get better and better Yeah, I'm folding my headers a little bit too quick We'll go put this into our silo for right now You got $800 per thousand on canola. I think that's decent enough from what we've been seeing the past couple weeks and uh, An extra 200 grand in our pocket right now would be nice so we can start um, expanding our parking lot area, buying some more equipment. I am toying with, if I do, yeah, that's right, I need to show you. Yeah, I'm going to keep extending this length of video, but uh, I, I promised you I was going to show you uh, the Harrow, disc Harrow, I was thinking about purchasing. Of course, it's a modded one by Stevie. Uh, 
it's just a little bit cheaper than the in-game one. Yeah, see, I don't leave myself enough room in here to back this guy up, but then again, I'm not pulling in here good enough. But I just like to, you know, the opportunity of changing the colors on equipment. But uh, with the amount of fields that we're getting now, it's starting to make me wonder, do I buy another tractor as well? No, that's the wrong button. Uh, disc arrow. So yeah, we go right down to the end. Is the, the Lemke. He does make it a little bit cheaper. Oh, and the working speed is a little faster, which is always nice. But 16 meters is not too wide for some of the small fields. But obviously, you know, we can change the color to, you know, whatever. Um, probably not that, but <laughs> you get what I'm talking about. But the requirement is 400 horsepower. So the Case Puma can't, is not going to be able to handle it. Uh, it's going to have to be the, like the T8. And I'm stuck. This is why I need the drive through silo. Because I suck. All right. Now I'm going to wrap it up. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time in Mercury Farms. But until then, have a good one. This machine helped out a lot today.